Yo, what's up guys? Back on another video today. Uh, today it's just kind of a helpful video. I'm going to be showing you how to max Wenda and Orin buff and use them correctly and upgrade correctly to get 100% on Griffin as well. Uh, starting out though, for Wenda and Orwin, you'll need a curse of 5.9 or better. And the better the curse, it's just how, how much... Uh, longer it'll take to activate the buff so the closer you can to 5.9 is better but anything over is will do just fine so uh yeah i'm gonna hop right into the infinite here and i'm gonna show you guys you will not kill my last ally. player standing oh we're pushing kj's pushing what i'm dead try again no I'm charges <laughs> Oh, you're nuts. You're nuts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back end air. Yo, what's up guys? We're back. Um, I just placed down Griffin. So just for the 100% Griffin buff, we're going to start with that first. If you're running a physical squad with Orwin, the easiest way is to max upgrade him to... Uh, upgrade five, both Orwins, and then sacrifice, and then just place down another Orwin, have that auto sacrifice on, and 100 and 1% 1 right there. Now, oh, unsellable. Uh, well, I just realized that I actually have unique on my my Griffin, and I cannot sell him. So I will come back for the Wenda. But for now, for Orwin, you'll just place four Orwins down uh, in range of whatever you want to buff. So this is how I do it, and I think this is the easiest way. You start, and then you'll count to three seconds I use three Mississippi just to make sure the so one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi and then I'll auto and then I'll wait a wave let it go on maybe I'll upgrade my stain it usually takes um, about a wave for the 25% to go down and as soon as that does You'll press auto again. I'm currently lagging right now because I'm not currently home. So I just wanted to make that clear. Just like that, you saw all the Orwins go down. And then as soon as that 56% went down, you popped the second one, the fourth one actually, to uh, get the infinite Orwin. And then I'll, over time, it takes, I think, three waves to get it max. So I'll be back when it's back to 100. All right, we're back. And uh, as you can see, the 100% buff is infinite. There is a couple things I should mention. If you are lagging like me, the Orin buff could actually break because of that. Or if you mistimed it, it will actually break. So if you didn't get that, it's very important that you time that three mi Mississippi at the start to make sure it's infinite. But otherwise, this show this should go on for forever until you die or until you leave or until the stage is over. But yeah, that's how you do the infinite Orwin. So we're going to back now and we're going to hop into the Wenda one. It's not much different. It's basically the same exact thing. Just, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys right there. Alright guys, we're back with Wenda here. So with Wenda, you won't need to place three units. You only just need to place two. First, you'll just fully max one. And then you'll go to upgrade three. And then sacrifice. And that is the cheapest way for Wenda buff. Now with Wenda, it's the same thing with um, Orwin. Just Wenda goes from... 30 to 69 to 100 percent so 
same thing here so auto one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi and then we'll wait a wave and then the, all the 30s will disappear and then that's when you pop the third wonder and then after the 69% disappears then you'll pop the fourth wonder Wenda is a little faster she gets a hundred percent buff and I think three waves instead of the four with Orwin because she goes straight to a hundred percent I think I did mess it up there because of lag but um yeah I'll come back as soon as it goes through all right so I didn't mess it up but there you go um there's how you Wenda and Orin buff if you guys like this type of content or need more informational guides on anime adventures, just uh, comment next what you'd like to see and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you guys.